Hey, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Jada King Hefner, and the beautiful Cali son. And you guessed it, man. Uh, we going on another little mini adventure right quick. Uh, nothing too serious. It's just a little inspiration that me and Cali uh, came up with last night. And the truth be told, I really been kicking it with Asana Moon. But the thing is, she's not into uh, what we're finna get ready to go do. And uh, you'll soon see uh, what that is. So stick around. Here we go. Hey man, once again, it's another beautiful day in these Memphis streets, man. Uh, and I can't lie, I, I love being out here with my number one Cali. Uh, definitely getting out uh, with the other girls soon. But the one real thing that really still troubles me, man, is I gotta find a way to get Saima out the house. And now that's a little bit more complicated uh, since I hurt her ankle. Uh, but I promise you, where there's a will, there's a way. And we getting her ass out of that damn house. They building something down here, man. Trying to build up downtown. I like it, man. Look like some apartments or something. Okay, look at that, Cal. Okay, guys, we're almost at our destination. And I can't lie, me and Callie taking a bit of a chance here because this sun, sun is definitely shining. But guess what? This girl is built to win. So we finna go ahead to the destination. I'm finna show y'all where that destination is right now. As you can see in the horizon back there, that's our destination, the big old stadium, baby. And you'll find out what stadium it is when we get a little closer. Hey guys, what's up? Me and Cali, we're on the way over there right now. And uh, here's the deal. My mom and others have always asked me, why do I keep uh, Cali's legs straight when we're walking in the uh, uh, wheelchair? And the biggest reason is, if you're a dog owner, you already know, it's best to keep uh, your dog's legs straight as much as possible. You don't want to bend them too much and make the uh, skeleton loose. So I already don't have sex with my girls. Well, I figure when I take them out, the less bending the better. So uh, I had this wheelchair that her legs can be elevated. So guess what? I use it. With all that said, now all these cars driving past, we're going to try to get closer to the destination and check back in with you guys. Okay guys, me and Catley walking, getting a little closer. We found a little shade, man. I just giving y'all another alternate view through Catley's feet. Oh, to the bump at the front of the wheelchair, man. And I promise you, if you got a dog, the one thing you better be careful of when you got your girl in the wheelchair is these damn bumps, man. Cause what I be noticing is the ground looks straight. It looks like it's nothing there. Next thing you know, your girl damn near flying off the damn wheelchair. So with all that said, be careful, man. Yeah, baby, we done turned the corner. Y'all see what's it? Y'all see what that sign say, baby? We heading to the destination, baby. The fabulous FedEx form. The fabulous FedEx form, baby. Yeah, baby, we made it to the premises. FedEx form, baby. The house me and my brother built. A lot of people don't know that, man, but me and my brother, we was the original super fans here, man. Before the Tony Allens, before the Zebos, man. It was your boy, j Dog King Heffner, and my brother, man. Running around these parts right here, man. So look, me and Kelly, we finna get settled in, man. Nice little spot. And have a little talk, man. Yeah. Hey, what up guys? We finally made it to the destination. And as you can see what's behind us is the fabulous FedEx Forum, baby. The home of the Memphis Grizzlies. And uh, we so ha happy, man, the NBA. Uh, it's in full swing. And actually, me and Cali, we don't, we don't consider the NBA in full swing until our team play. And I know it's a lot of other people that feel the same way uh, about their team. Like, I, I look at a lot of NBA ball, but I I'm not guaranteed to finish a game unless it's the Grizzlies. That's just the truth, man. And so I'm happy, excited to see what Jai going to do, uh, to see if Triple J going to play a whole season without getting hurt. Uh, I'm anxious to see what the Zaire Williamson uh, guy, the, the rookie, going to do. Uh, see if Bang going to keep shooting that thing like he been doing. Uh, see if my boy Brooks bring that pain, baby. 
So look, hey, it's a lot of storylines to watch. Uh, see what Adams, Mr. AKA Frankenstein gonna bring to the team. Cause he got a lot, a lot to fill up since Big Z, a uh, Big V ain't here no more, man. Cause he used to love Valentunas, man. So uh, with all that said, I hope everybody's excited for what their team's gonna do this year. Uh, looks like it's gonna be an exciting year. Uh, the games last night was exciting. LeBron him got their bus book, man, uh, by the uh, Golden State Warriors. And uh, actually, KD and them got beat by the defending champion Bucks, man. So it, it's time for uh, our young Grizz to make their mark. We're going to see what they're going to do. And me and Callie, man, we came out here to grace the grounds personally, man. We're like, nah, man. Hey, before this season start, uh, we're going to come out here because right now, uh, certain things sort of keeping us out of the building. But we hope for that in the future, we'll definitely uh, make some appearances at some games, too. So uh, with all this said, man, we're going to just keep looking around for a second before we head out, man, and uh, get ready for game night. Hey, what up, man? Me and Callie, man. We're in front of the beautiful Rock and Soul Museum right here. And I can't lie, I never realized it was actually connected to the FedEx Forum. And me and my brother have been here a million times, man. Look. See the big job poster up there, baby? Hey, we in the house, man. We in the house, man. Finna go see some more stuff, man. Hey, stick with us. Yeah, so as you can see, she still got her Grizzly shirt on. And all the girls had their Grizzly gear, actually. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Uh, we big big fans and uh, like you said, we definitely had to come down here and get these boys some good luck for this year. Oh yeah. So we can make this championship run. <laughs> exactly. So, Again. So of course last year we made it to the uh, playoffs but didn't go far so. Right, right, but hey we're a young team and uh here's the deal. Callie's son got on the ride late last year. Mm -hmm. This year she on from the beginning. Nice. And when Callie's son get involved and the rest of the girls, all some winning finna happen. Nice. So we, we may go all the way this year. So, I, I really appreciate you guys for inviting thank us you, in. Do you mind if I just uh, get a little closer view no, of that? No, feel free, bro. Okay, thank you. Let us know if you need any help, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, y'all. So, we just taking a little deeper walk in here now. They invited us in. I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, just let you guys know, man. See, look, I told you. Callie is infectious. It's just something about her. Uh, people want to meet her. And believe me, she has the effect on me every day. So, if y'all can just see in the back of us what's happening, because I hate to have to reposition this camera again, but I'm just sort of walking around the shop so you guys can see what we have here. I mean, like I say, this was an unplanned stop. Uh, I was just sitting out there with Callie, and next thing you know, we got invited inside. So that was that was real cool, real cool. So, hopefully my camera work ain't too bad. Hey guys, thank you. Thank you guys. Hey, thank you. And hey, look, hopefully we'll bring her home a win tonight. Yes, sir. Hey, you think one of you can let me out? Yes. Okay, thank you. I appreciate you. I and mean, I could probably do it, but hey, it doesn't like having a little help. Exactly. Now you gotta bring the other girls down. Oh yeah, most definitely. It's only one of them that I'ma have trouble with, but I'ma figure it out. Okay, okay. Cause she's a little bit um uh thicker. I got you. You're right. <laughs> Y'all have a great one. Okay. Okay, y'all. That was a great adventure, man. Look, see that? Cat ahead, keep getting away. But that was a great adventure, man. When you saw some people unexpectedly, so that's the type of thing that happened, man, when you just make an effort to get out and do some stuff, man. So, hey, I'm going to show y'all another little thing right quick. Head up here. Take this little trip up here, man. And I hope I don't run out of recording memory, man. Honestly. I promise you I'm going to upgrade this equipment and all this type of stuff at some point where I won't have to even think about running out of recording space. Oh, but this is what I want to show you guys, man. The home base, man. Look. Here it is. Look, when you're trying to come to a game, when you're walking up on this right here, man, hey, stop at one of them ticket booths, they let you know, man, you just went to a whole n level, another level of fanhood, man. When you get a ticket and go to a game, me and my brother done did it a million times. Uh, like I said, I didn't want to tell the, old, tell the young lady, but like I said, for a little while, uh, there's certain provisions in place where we won't make a game right now, but hopefully in the future, uh, things will be different, and we'll be in one of those, uh, filling up two of those seats on the inside of FedEx Forum, uh, cheering on our team. But as for right now, 
we're gonna get them all the spirit we can give them uh, from outside, but sitting at home, man, cheering them on. So, go Grizzlies, baby. On to the next spot. Okay, man, as you can see now, me and uh, Cali, we right at the front door. And if you ever talking about coming to a game, man, when you start walking up on them doors, and it's close to game time, man, you're gonna start feeling chills, man. And hey, you're gonna be hyped for the game, man. And uh, I, I can't lie, them fans tonight, when they get closer and head towards these doors, I guarantee you, man, the hairs on the back of their necks gonna definitely stand up when they get hyped for this game tonight, man. So, hey, me and Cali, we're gonna definitely be cheering them on. Uh, ready for a good one tonight, man. So, hey, on to the next one. Hey guys, now this is pretty much the last stop to see at the FedEx Forum. Uh, and this is pretty much the Grizzlies Den. This is where you can get all the clothes or anything you might want uh, to support the Grizzlies. And uh, me and Cali, once again, we got lucky to get into the, uh, into the uh, radio uh, museum. But uh, I think they have a requirement and I didn't bring anything to get in here right now. So with all that said, man, it's going to be a nice place to see. Come shop. I've been in there before. I got shirts, got paraphernalia, all type of things. So, hey, another way to enjoy the Grizz on game day. Uh, with all that said, man, I guess uh, we're going to head back to the car and uh, get prepared for this game tonight ourselves. I don't know, we might stop and get something to eat. Uh, who knows? All right, guys, man, we're heading back to this car. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, jump in this ride. I don't know if I'm gonna get something to eat or not, but I know one thing, you are gonna get game ready. Check in a sec. Hey, okay, guys. Hey, that was another mission accomplished, man. Great little adventure. Uh, the whole point of that was just to go down there and uh, give some well wishes to the franchise, man, since tonight was open at night, uh, and Cali's a big fan. Uh, and, and so we just really want to christen the environment, christen the land, show you guys who haven't been down there uh, sort of what it looks like. And uh, although we're not going to the game, man, it still feels good just to have uh, a stadium and a franchise in your city. Uh, me and my brother, we remember a time where we didn't have this. So uh, sometimes it's just good to go show the thankfulness and say, hey, look, man, I appreciate that this is here in the city. And uh, that's all we really want to do. And it sort of developed into a little bit more where we got invited into somewhere, uh, the Rock and Soul Museum, and uh, just took a little a, a look around the grounds. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and me and Cali, I think we're gonna get something to eat, but it done warmed up out here, so I'm not quite sure about that. I wanna let you know, uh, guys, just a reminder, if you are just entering into the uh, Companion Dog game, and if you did decide to get a Kimber Dog, or if you do decide to get a Kimber Dog, don't forget to use my uh, discount code. Uh, it's Dog King. D-O-L-L-K-I-N-G. Nothing I'm getting anything from, but I do want to make sure if anybody does get a Kimba Dog, that they use that code so that code will stay active for anybody coming after me because it may not be much, but you know what? A free wig is better than nothing. Uh, with all that said, man, we had a great time today. Uh, check back in with us, man. We're going to get down to some real nitty-gritty stuff that we need to talk about. But other than that, we're going to go enjoy the rest of this day. So it's been me, J. Dog King Hefner, and the beautiful Callie Soon. We are out.